Getting started with MEM, beginner's guide to MEM tutorial. Hi there you guys, you wanna know about MEM and how it works, right? So you hit on the right video. In this video, I will try my best to explain to you what MEM is, how it works, and what are the basic features that we can do with it. So let's talk about what MEM is, you guys. Essentially, MEM is the fastest way to capture, connect, and share information. It's as simple as uh, Apple Notes and powered by a collaborative graph database. It features lightning fast capture, always on research, always on search, and seamless collaboration all in one piece, all in one place, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, MEM is like, you know, a place for you to share your ideas. Uh, in simple terms, it's a collaborative platform that allows people to share ideas and talk about them in real time. And I find it really proactive compared to um, when you're using Twitter or any other social media platforms because you can directly mention entities here easily without having to follow anyone or having to actually get verified or something to do it, right? But essentially, what is a mem? Now, a mem is the site itself, but when you start writing or when you start creating like quote-unquote note, it's going to be called a mem. So instead of a note, it's going to be called a MEMS, like a memo or something. But essentially, a MEM is defined as a container of information or, like example, a note. From a nascent thought to a fully-fledged document. So nascent thought to a fully-fledged fledged document, there's like a huge gap between those two. But let's see if MEM justifies it. So let's talk about um, some different, oh, before we do that, I'm gonna guys show you the dashboard over here. So once you um, type in mem.ai, you're gonna wanna sign in with Google or any other email platform that you're using. Uh, I personally use Google, so I chose sign in with Google, and this is how the dashboard looks like. We have here on the sidebar, you can access the timeline. This basically is um, the timeline of the postings or the mems that you are involved in. Like for example, I just created my account, right? So it's showing me all of it's showing me all of this how to link and organize mems and all of this how to stuff. But once I start posting over here, like for example, first posting. All right. Um, it's gonna be uh, you'll have the option to uh, privatize your post. I'm gonna share it only to me, or you can share it with other people. Like, for example, input their emails right over here. But you can publish it and allow anyone in the web to see it. All right, so it's already published. Let's check it out here on my timeline. There you go. First posting, first posting. Why are there two versions of this? I think the other one is the, uh, the, the private one and the other one is the public one. But anyway, what can you do with all, you know, with, with, with posting here in Mem? Uh, let's check it out. Uh, for example, you want to um, tag someone, right? Or topic tags. Uh, Mem calls them topic tags. So, by the way, you won't be needing folders here, unlike conventional note-taking platforms that, you know, um, lets you create folders and stuff like that. But topic tags are a flexible way, it says here, to add a lightweight level of organization to your mems. Now, topic tags denote a collection of mems, and you can use topic tags by typing the hashtag symbol followed by the name of the topic. Now, if you tag multiple mems with the same topic tag, they'll be grouped together, and you'll see that mem pulls up related information about the topic in the sidebar. So this one is the sidebar right here. You can see here tags or essentially hashtags. Now, I wanted to um, create um, multiple postings, right? So uh, let's say hashtag election 2022. So I'm going to share that. I'm going to publish it. All right. So I'm going to post in another one. I'm going to say um, we should vote wisely. Um, hashtag 2022 or election 2022. There you go. There is the, um, the hashtag that we created. Just type it in one more time because I think. All right. Vote wisely. Can't edit it, you guys. Let's retype it. Election 2022. 
and I'm just going to hit on enter. All right, so I'm going to share. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're creating a new posting. So I'm going to edit a new one by going back. And you can see here, this is what we created, right? So I'm going to just paste it. And I'm going to rewrite the hashtag right away. Okay. All right. Wow. That should be fixed. Head on publish. Okay, you can see here the tags button here on the side by pulled up the election 2022 hashtag. And we can see here all the notes or all the memes that we created, right? Cool. And tutorials is also automatically here because you know how to, how to, how to, all of the articles that are in our timeline has hashtag tutorials in them. So let's check out the inbox. Okay, see, these are my new messages from them. Now, what about linked mems? Now, linked mems are links to existing mems. So linked mems are bi-directional connections that help you create transversible webs of knowledge. And to use linked mems, simply type the plus sign followed by the title of the mem you want to reference. So if a mem has been linked to multiple times, you'll see that mem pulls up related information in the sidebar. Now, for you to do this, let's go back to timeline. <clears throat> now, I want to post something, right? Thanks to plus... So we can see your related articles. Now I'm just going to hit on plus. How, there we go. Thanks to mm -hmm, article, I was able to understand how to use mems or how to use mem. Or I'm going to post it now and then I'm going to share it. I'm going to publish. Done. And let's check out our posting so far. Okay. So you guys can see that this is how MEMS essentially work. That's how you organize your notes here in MEMS. And what else can you do? You can check out, um, you can create meeting notes. You can create daily MEM. You can create a to-do list. And you can create a contact card, a project plan, recipe, one-on-one -on -one notes. Those are the stuff that you can create here on mem you can just click whatever you want to and then type in right away but what else is here on the sidebar we also have inbox this is where all your messages come in and we also have tasks so um what is this see your tasks across all of your mems here so there's also a pro, pro tip use keyboard shortcuts to quickly navigate through your open tasks where you can decide to hide mark as done or snooze for later all right so today how to create and edit mems so this is um, a more comprehensive uh, guide for you to start using MEM. Definitely go ahead and check it out for yourself, you guys. Now, what else? The tags is going to pull up here all the tags that you have posted or that you have typed. And you can also check out groups right over here. Now, collaborative on MEMs in real time. Um, yeah, collab MEM is like a collaborative platform, right? So you can collaborate on MEMs in real time with others by creating groups. And you can then mention the group uh, at marketing team, for example, to share that mem with everyone. And mems shared by others will appear in your inbox. All right. So next is the flows. Now, flows are a powerful way to automate your workflow. You can create your usable templates or EG for meeting notes. Set up your phone to text thoughts to mem and more. What else? We also have trash right here. This will be, you know, the place for course your deleted mems but you guys that's it for the beginner's guide and a starter's guide to mem i hope it has been helpful if you have any more questions feel free to um reach out to mem and check out their site as well but i definitely would recommend this for when you're working on a creative and you are far away from each other and you want to collaborate on ideas this is going to be a perfect place to do that so what do you think you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below but if you haven't subscribed to the video make sure to hit that subscribe button right there it helps us a lot big time but that's it for this video see you again in the next video peace out